Brown's Edition is Spokane's oldest neighborhood. In 1878, two guys moved here when it was called Spokane Falls, Mr. Um, Brown and Mr. Cannon. They bought one quarter of the Spokane Falls from the city's founder, Mr. Glover. There were 54 people living here at the time. Later, they each claimed um, 160 acres, and Mr. Brown got Brown's Edition, and then Mr. Cannon, uh, south of that, got Cannon's Edition. By 1880, the population had hit 350 people. By 1889, we had the big giant fire in Spokane that took out a lot of buildings. But that was also the time to start rebuilding, and they started rebuilding great. In Brown's Edition, they built these huge Victorian mansions, or folk Victorian mansions, they were sometimes called. And these were, they weren't Sears houses, but these were plans that people would purchase, certainly not online, but they would purchase these plans, import the wood, and they'd buy these, buried, and they would build these huge, huge Victorian mansions, as you can see in these pictures right here. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brian Johnson, and I'm a real estate broker right here in Spokane with Windermere Valley, Liberty Lake. If you have any questions about real estate, you want to buy, sell, list, anything like that, feel free to reach out. My contact infor information is below. Shoot me a text, send me a call, send me a message, whatever you need to do. I'd love to talk to you guys and help you guys out. My YouTube clients are absolutely my favorite clients, so don't be shy. Reach out anytime, and I really appreciate you guys. Now, Brown's Edition is a very residential neighborhood with these huge Victorian mansions. Some of them are still individual residences, but most of them have been cut up into condos or apartment buildings. There's a few of them that have been turned into law offices. Then we have a lot of condos. So you can see right here, this is actually a map of Brown's Edition. Um, it's very small, not very big, and you can see right in the middle right here, they have Coeur d'Alene Park. So looking here on Google Maps, you can see right here where my mouse cursor is. This is Brown's Edition, and you can see literally downtown Spokane is right next to it. I mean, it is very much right next to it. It's one of the few places where you can walk to downtown from where you live if you live in Brown's Edition, in one of those huge mansions, um, or in one of the cool condos. Now, along here, you guys, Riverside Avenue is where I'm talking about. There's a, Let me just zoom in right here on Riverside Avenue. So there's a lot of unique properties. You can see like this one right here. This is actually facing north with a great view over Peaceful Valley and over the river. And you can see you've also got these cool apartment buildings on Riverside that overlook the river also. So it's not just all houses. It's houses and condos and apartments overlooking that river. Now, if you live in Brown's Edition, you're probably working in Spokane. If you were to be working in the valley, you've got about a 20-minute drive um, from Brown's Edition to Spokane Airport. You've probably got max 15-minute drive. And it's one of the few neighborhoods like Kindle Yards that you, can, that you could actually exist without a car. There's a lot of public transportation that goes into Brown's Edition. And in 2021, they just put in some infrastructure for a main line going in there. It hasn't finished yet. That will be done in 2023. But that's going to enhance um, Brown's Edition for easy, easy access for public transportation, which is really sorely lacking in the rest of Spokane. So if you're looking for a place to live that has good public access transportation, then Brown's Edition is definitely it. But as you can see right here, Brown's Edition sits just north of I-90, the freeway, right over here. Oops, sorry. Right over here is Spokane International Airport. Like I said, only about maybe a 15-minute drive if you hit a little bit of traffic. And then you're also close to, you've got some parks. You've, you've obviously got Coeur d'Alene Park right here in the center. You've got People's Park, which is down the hill, down here. And then you've got High Bridge Park, which is down here more in Lata or Hangman Valley. And then there's the Spokane Spokanimal Dog Park at High Bridge, also down here. Now, Brown's Edition is obviously served by Spokane Public Schools. There aren't any schools in Brown's Edition, but the elementary school that serves Brown's Edition is Roosevelt. And you can see right here on the map from Brown's Edition, it's going to be on the other side of the South Hill a little bit. And when I say other side, you're still talking only about a six-minute drive. Sacagawea Middle School is what serves Brown's Edition also and you can see here it's a little further south on the South Hill and that's probably about an 11 or 12 minute drive and the high school is Lewis and Clark High School and that is right off the freeway right here you can see it's only a five minute drive from Brown's Edition so even though there's not any schools technically right there in the neighborhood they are really close but that's true of Spokane in general um, everything in Spokane seems to be really close you can get pretty much anywhere I can get anywhere in Spokane in like 30 minutes max. I mean, I even live in way north Spokane. It seems like just wherever I'm going, even if I'm heading way out to the valley, 30 minutes max. If I'm going to Coeur d'Alene, you're looking at 45, 50 minutes. But pretty much sitting around 
doing everything, your daily activities. In Spokane, you're 30 minutes away. Now, there's not a lot of shopping going on at all right here in Brown's Edition, but you do have a little bit of um, some cool restaurants. You have the Elk. You have some other cool restaurants at the center right here. You can see some pictures of those. So you do have some a few restaurants. Then there's going to be a couple of boutique shops around. I haven't listed any of those here, but when people are from out of town looking at neighborhoods and they're thinking of shopping, they're going to think of grocery store shopping and other big box retailer type shopping. So downtown, you've got, you're just five minutes away from downtown, which has a huge mall, the Riverside Mall. Um, and then if you're big boxy type shopping, you're not going to be walking to that from Brown's Edition. You've got some big box type shopping on the South Hill with Target and things like that. And then you've got other shopping that you'd be driving to to get to bigger things like Walmart or Costco or those things. You're going to be headed in a car to get to those that are going to be a little bit further away. But you can also head over to Airway Heights for a lot of that stuff pretty easily in just about 10 minutes if you need some other shopping to get the other direction away from the valley. Now, here's a picture of Frank's Diner. It's a great little breakfast restaurant. I just wanted to highlight it. It's right on the edge of Brown's Edition. It's technically, you might even say, cross the border into downtown Spokane. But if you're in Brown's Edition or you're visiting there and you want to go to a great breakfast place, you've got to check out Frank's Diner. Here's a picture of it right here. And to get there, here it is on Google Maps from Coeur d'Alene Park. You're just talking a little two-minute drive or probably a five-minute walk. And it is right over here off of Walnut. So the cost of living in Brown's Edition is the same as the cost of living for Spokane. I like to do those for different towns in the area because they do change a little bit, like when you cross the border or maybe you get to Liberty Lake. But in Brown's Edition, it's going to be the same numbers as you see in Spokane. So let's look at it right here. This is on payscale.com. The cost of living for Spokane in general were 5% higher than the national average, 4% higher on housing, 1% higher on utilities, 3% higher on groceries, and transportation is about 10% higher. And that's because we're lacking in public transportation. So the cost of living in Brown's Edition is obviously the same as it is in Spokane. I like to show that when I'm showing the cities around here because they do vary a little bit. Like you get into Liberty Lake or you get into the Valley, things are going to be a little bit different. But here's the cost of living for Spokane in general. We're 5% higher on the national average. This is from payscale.com, by the way. We're 4% higher on housing. We are a little bit high on their housing and our rents are really high also. So that's going to be reflected in Brown's Edition for sure. Utilities are 1% higher, 3% higher on groceries and transportation is 10% higher. You know, in Spokane, we are lacking in a lot of good public transportation. So I think that number is there because you're going to be paying to drive. So transportation costs are going to be pretty much your driving. Unless you do live in Brown's Edition and you work downtown, you literally could live there and walk downtown and you wouldn't have to even access a car. And those little lime scooters, those would get you everywhere. Now, here we have the median price of Spokane. I think we're bumped up a little bit, but this is pretty accurate, $415,000. The median rent is almost $1,300. The energy bills are averaging $173 a month, phone bill $190, and gas $481. These numbers are pretty true right now. We're in at the beginning of fall in 2021. I'm sorry. We're in the beginning of fall 2022, and these numbers are what I'm seeing out there right now. Same with these costs down here on food and grocery. I wouldn't look at these healthcare costs as accurate necessarily, but um, these other costs up here I'm seeing, these are accurate. Now let's take a look at some real estate. I was saying that the um, $415,000 to $430,000 really is sort of the median price right now in Spokane, but in Brown's Edition, your median, we're not, we don't have any houses for that price median price in Brown's, Brown's edition. Like I said, you've got a lot of big multifamilies out there. And those, some of those are for sale and you have a lot of condos and you do get houses that pop up. Let me just show you right now. In Brown's edition, there's 11 properties for sale. Now looking at these top two up here at 799 and 775, these are both multifamilies. Um, I think I'm not even going to try and guess. I think it's a five and a three. I'm not even sure. This is, they're both multifamilies that are for sale. That one's pending. This is a beautiful condo. It's occupied. So I'm not going to show you pictures of it. 690, three bedroom, three bath. It's got a hot tub. It's three story townhome. It's absolutely gorgeous. Going down, um, then you've got this is also a multifamily here, I'm pretty sure, at 575. Dropping down again, then we've got a condo, unit 412 on Hemlock um, for 525, three bedroom, three bath. We have a two bedroom, two bath condo over off um, on the definitely on the west side. That's a beautiful little condo, two bedroom, two bath. And this is another one in the same unit for 335, two bedroom, two bath. So you do actually, so we have a couple condos below the median, but you're seeing most things are above the median price in Brown's edition. Um, this is raw land that's available for 270. And then actually these two condos that are pending, one's pending, one's for sale 
315 than 270. So I guess I wasn't exactly accurate by saying there was nothing at the median. There is something, some condos at the median. What I meant, meant was there weren't any homes at that median price, but certainly there's a few condos at or below that median price. If you have any questions about real estate or you want to look at anything in Brown's Edition or anywhere in Spokane in general, feel free to reach out anytime, you guys. I love helping you. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video about Brown's Edition. If you have any questions about real estate in general in this whole area, feel free to reach out anytime. I love helping you guys. Thanks again.